Join me as I explore the exciting world of model railways with behind the scenes features, step-by-step -step tutorials, interviews, videos, reviews, and much, much more. I'm Dawn Quest and I love building model railways. It's Saturday morning, freezing cold, but I'm off to Worley. To start, here's the obligatory getting on a train shot, accompanied by rousing music. And of course, getting off the train. So I've just arrived, already loads of people here. They can't wait to get inside, neither can I. It was a bit of a wait, but we're finally in. Now in its 54th year, Worley is back bigger than ever with 80 layouts, 130 traders, demonstrators, and of course, the crowds. And there's something here to please everyone. There's trams. To model cars. A wide selection of chopper bikes. Remember those? To the odd boat or two. And of course, I'm going to show you a few trains. From the very small. To large scale. I think you're going to need a bigger baseboard. Let's crack on, shall we, with some layouts and what I think were the highlights of the show. And first off, Moore's view, an end gauge by Paul Holwell, showing the X LSWR main line between Exeter and Plymouth on the northwestern edge of Dartmoor. The viewer can see prototypical BR 1950 steam from both X Southern and GWR railways. In creating this beautiful landscape, Paul told me how he tried really hard to imagine this scenery before it was changed by human hands. From a wintry scene now to something positively balmy. Carolina Falls is a gold prospecting scene by David Bailey with a real waterfall with 2,000 litres per hour cascading into the ravine below. That boat looks rather tempting. The layout is a basic oval with a passing loop in the station and a four-track traversa in the fiddle yard. And it wouldn't be complete without what looks like Del Boy's yellow Robin Reliant in the background. As you might expect, something impressive from the oldest model railway club in the world. Copenhagen Fields is built by the Model Railway Club. Not only is this a really impressive size, when viewed it looks even larger than it is because the scale reduces to 1 to 250 towards the back of the model. This layout is also a global effort, with buildings having been constructed by members in Germany, Thailand and San Francisco. I especially like the Leslie Green inspired Red Brick Station. So a really, really busy morning already here at Worley. Lots of crowds, lots of amazing layouts. What's been really noticeable is that there's so much more space. Worley have decided to push back barriers, increase the space, which means there's been no more rucksacks at dawn, lots more space to enjoy the layouts, get really up close and see the layouts in detail. And someone who's really up close to how the Worley Annual Show operates is Paul Jones, trustee of the Worley Model Railway Club charity. After last year, we were still suffering from the COVID uh, pandemic. So our numbers were a little bit lower than last year than we would have hoped and expected. Uh, I'm pleased to say that our advance tickets for this year's show are about 5% higher than they were for last year. So that's encouraging. And it's been busy all day. So yeah, I think we're going to be pretty happy at the end of the day. Thank you. And you, more than anybody, know all about Worley, the exhibition, the show. You've yeah. been doing it for how many years? Well, I did my first Worley exhibition, which is at the old Harry Mitchell Centre in Smedic in the West Midlands in 1977. Uh, I was told it was on a rotor basis. So I didn't do I didn't do 78 or 79. Then it was my turn on the rotor in 1980. Then somehow the rotor seemed to stop. So I've done every single show since 1980 to 2018. 2019 was a joint uh, venture with uh, Nigel Smith, who's now the exhibition manager. And how have you seen the show evolve over the years? Well, when we started at the, at the Harry Mitchell Centre, which was a former Territorial Army drill hall, 
uh, where we uh, we used to get a maximum of about four or five thousand people, maybe uh, 20, 25 layouts, and maybe a total of 18 stands, including trade stand societies and so on. We now find that we've got, as you see here, about 300 stands in total, 18 working layouts in all scale gauge combinations, and we're great to have all the all the main manufacturers of model Huawei products in the UK in the hall today for everybody to enjoy, see the developments and to talk to them about uh, what they're proposing to do and their product, together with all the backup trade, including a lot of the cottage industry trade uh, that supports the model Huawei hobby throughout the year. What's the secret of its success? Why do you think it's grown so big over the years? I think it's largely because it's been run by an enthusiastic, dedicated uh, bunch of amateurs with a professional outlook who are committed to making the show, the show a success. Nobody has ever been paid a penny for organising the Wally exhibition all those, years, all those years. Our benefit is our club rooms we have in Albury, which we own and which we're able to run as a result of the exhibition. And it's, it's just been great. It's, it's, it's a facet of the hobby that, for me, I've really enjoyed uh, the challenge of it and also the success when. There are lots and lots of railway models enjoying themselves, you know, enjoying what's here. What could be better than that? Absolutely. What's your favourite part of the show weekend? Favourite part of the show weekend is about nine o'clock when I get home <laughs> on Sunday night. But yeah, I mean, I like to be, I like the buzz of the show when it's open. It's quite hard work getting it together on Thursday afternoon and Friday. Uh, I did about 22,000 steps on Friday, for instance. Um, so there's a lot of work, but... When it's got a buzz and it's nice to be able to say, see people around, I like looking at the layouts. Not that I get a lot of time to look at them, but I get some time. And it's just great to see everybody enjoy themselves. That's the best of it, really. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. It's been a pleasure to talk. Pleasure, Dawn. Thank you. There's something about Japanese layouts that really captures the imagination. And in the case of Kato's layout here, it's true, anything really does go. It was fantastic to see so many different overseas layouts. Beijiao is an HO gauge layout set in northern China in 2004. At 26 foot by 10 foot, it's intended purely for exhibition use. It has an 18 road fiddle yard and the scenic section is 20 foot by 3 foot. To Loft City Central now, a fun and colourful Playmobil G-scale layout. Playmobil started in 1974 by Hans Beck, and just like Lego, a large element of Playmobil's fan base is adult collectors all around the world. When you get to play with train sets like this, who would want to grow up? Sometimes it's just nice to stand back and watch the trains. Of course, Worley isn't just a place to look at layouts and trains. It's a great place to catch up with some old friends and make new ones. Now this part of my Model Railway video blog is about a group of Model Railway video bloggers talking about Model Railway video blogging to other Model Railway video bloggers. My cameraman also wanted to be in this shot. I said no. He is known to have a tantrum every now and then. What do you call a bunch of model railway video bloggers? Answers on a postcard, please. Or perhaps not. No, on second thoughts, don't. Celebrating its 50th anniversary year, the 009 Society was out in force. Angst, Les Pork, draws its inspiration from the Discworld books by Terry Pratchett, describing a flat world traveling through space on the backs of four elephants. The scene for this 009 layout is urban, with a tidal river to the front. How charming is this Carol Flavin's Winter Wonderland Magna Rail diorama? Carol transformed the original summer landscape into this fabulous, nostalgic, snowy, wintry scene, complete with flying Santa. Oh, and she brought cake. Always a fan. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. That's lovely. While I take care of this cake, 
take a look at this, Artistry in Motion. If ever doubt shout loud in the sweet pangs of it, remember me. For such as I am, all true lovers are, unstaved and skittish in all motions else. How dost thou like this tune? Uh, uh, it comes. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing a voiceover. We've talked about this. Your job is filming, not sound. What have you got to say for yourself? We're not going to go get a coffee then. How about driving your own real steam train? In miniature, of course. The 00 Livestream Roadshow gave visitors a chance to take over the controls and challenge people to set a speed record. Of course, if you're thinking you might like to build one of these, your spare bedroom might not be sufficient. I don't think they need space. And this is about the smallest right. in, a, in a loft yeah. or a garage. Yeah, yeah. It's about the smallest to, to get these going. From live steam, to running out of steam. You can never have too much of a good thing, but even die-hard model rail fans need to call it a day at some point. Well, what a day. It's been absolutely fantastic. We've seen so many layouts, packed so much in. Time to go home now. Wally, thank you. If you like this video, please do like, share, and of course, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of all my future videos. I'm Dawn Quest, and this is Model Railway Quest. <laughs>